Hello guys, today I want to answer one email from one of you. You can call it a mini code review. So one question with the code sent to me, is it possible and is it worth it to have posts and pages in one controller called resource controller for a personal blog? And in this case, guys, I need your opinion and your help because I don't have a strong opinion on this answer and this question. So help me in the comments and help that developer who sent that email. So I will demonstrate first. There is a blog with awesome design, by the way, like totally mind blowing. I'm not sure if it's a template. I didn't find any traces of any template being used. So maybe it's totally custom, which is awesome then. But back to business, the link to the post has a slug. So my day, for example, but also there's the same URL for demo page, which is page with totally different design, but it has the same structure of any URL of any slug. And in the code, if we open routes web, we have this, but in the database, those two different things are in different tables. There's posts table and there's pages table. So is it worth to combine them together or not? Let's discuss. And first for the context, what is the difference between posts and pages? And I remember that from my blogging days, posts is like every day you're posting something on your blog and pages are more for static pages like about us, contact, newsletter or something like that, which rarely change and there are rarely new pages upcoming on the blog. So they are mostly static. So more natural way of doing that probably is to separate them in posts table and pages table, separate controller, separate URL. But the idea to combine them together may have likely come from the WordPress, for example. So I've Googled WordPress database structure and here you won't see a table WP pages. There's only WP posts. And then there are a lot of other stuff around posts, including like drafts of the posts, types of the posts and pages is one of the types from what I remember. So everything is a post in WordPress. So maybe this developer, I'm just guessing here thought, okay, we will have resource, which is both post and pages. Note here from the routes point of view, it's pretty risky to have anything here. It's great that it's the last in the list because for example, if you put it in here somewhere, it would override those and those wouldn't work at all. So that slug comes as a fallback after all the routes. But in general, even if you have resource controller for a few things, I would still have some kind of prefix like post or something or P because you never know what routes may come in the future and have a totally universal slug. It's pretty risky. So probably I wouldn't do that in the first place. Now let's take a look at the controller itself. What is in that show method? So we have a request and probably it should be type hinted with request like this. So it would be clear. And then if post exists, then we get that post and return. Otherwise, if the page exists, we return that page and there is a method of show post and show page. Otherwise we return 404. What is inside that show post? Okay. So we query the next and the previous post. We query the comments and then depending on the template, we actually load the post. In the page case, we only care about the template and nothing else. So that is probably the main difference. So post has a lot of stuff. So next and previous post and the comments and page just has a template, but the template is totally separate. So pages is a subfolder for pages and post is a subfolder for posts views. So just looking at this one, I kind of feel it should be separate controllers. I mean, you can combine them together and that all works, but the controller is bigger with private methods. And also you need additional database queries. Of course, this should be optimized. So instead of exist, we should have first like this. And then if resource, we return something like this. So there's one query instead of two. And same here, we query the resource. And if there is a resource, we show the page. And if nothing happens by here, we return a board. And by the way, a board should be not returned. A board is a return in itself. And actually only now I've noticed that request isn't actually a request. I've type hinted the request, but it's actually a misleading. I'm totally used to have request as a parameter and then passing it, but actually a request is a slug here in this case. So it should be name as a slug. So slug. And then everywhere here, it should be a slug. So again, naming things is hard. And in reviewing other code, juniors or not juniors, I see a lot of areas where it could be improved. Just the naming of the variables, methods and routes. 
I would probably separate, like duplicate, for example, post and page, or leave page separately and then leave slug like this. And then there should be page controller here and then post controller here. And then it wouldn't contain all that magic that if there is a post, if there is a page, so potentially fewer queries to the database, easier to read code, and maybe in the future you would want different behavior for posts and pages, which is already quite different in here. So show post and show page has totally different templates, has or has not comments. So I think in this case, that combining is quite artificial and not needed. It would make sense if it was one design template, and more or less the same data structure. So without those things, now you combine them together and then you make exceptions of what is needed or not needed. I personally wouldn't do it this way. What do you guys think? Share your opinions in the comments. And if you want to have more tips like this one in the future videos, subscribe to the channel and support the channel financially, potentially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen, the products from myself and my team, and the more purchases we have for those, the more time I personally have to shoot these daily videos. See you guys in other videos.